everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today I've got a review of a bump helmet that I've been using for about eight months or so now. This is the bump helmet with the M-Lock rails from Hardhead Veterans, so let's take a look at it. Now, if you couldn't tell by the name, Hardhead Veterans is a veteran-owned company, and they make some really nice both ballistic and bump helmets. But what originally drove me to Hardhead Veterans uh, for my first helmet, which is a level 3A ballistic helmet, uh, was pretty much the price. Uh, they had really good prices online, but I didn't know anything about them, so I decided to do my research, read a bunch of articles, I watched a bunch of videos, and everybody seemed pretty impressed. They were saying that they're very comfortable, they're lightweight, not the lightest weight model that's on the market, but still pretty lightweight. Uh, also saying that they put up with a bunch of abuse, and so people were pretty happy with them overall and so I felt pretty good making my purchase and I picked up their level 3a helmet which will withstand a uh, up to a 44 magnum so it's a really nice helmet I have the Agilite tactical helmet bridge on it right now again this one also has the M lock rails on the side right here just giving you a little bit more versatility excellent padding it feels very comfortable even the chin strap is kind of unique in the way that it locks and unlocks very easily without having to you know click any buttons or do anything like that so I've been uh, really really happy with that one so far and I've also been really happy with their bump helmet now the difference between a bump helmet and a ballistic helmet just in case you don't know a uh, bump helmet does not provide any ballistic protection whatsoever I mean if you get hit with something it's just gonna fly right through this like butter it's not meant for that basically a uh, bump helmet like this is just like a tactical hard hat so guys go to work in construction they put on a hard hat and then in a tactical environment guys put on a bump helmet it's again pretty much the same thing it's just meant to protect your head from bumps and scrapes or people dropping things on it and stuff like that so it doesn't offer any ballistic protection but it still protects your head from other stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this to the table we're gonna take a closer look at it and we'll go over all the different features and uh, kind of what you get when you pick one of these up because honestly they're a pretty good value a lot less than you're gonna find in some of those really high-end manufacturers where you're paying a lot for the name so if you get one of those helmets from one of those pretty popular brands they have a lot of profit margin and a lot of that profit margin is because of the name these are also really quality helmets but they just kind of cut back on that profit margin so they can kind of you know get you into the door and something that is uh, high quality so again let's uh, move the camera to the table take a closer look at it Okay, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at this helmet. Now, with this helmet, you get a lot of hook and loop, or at least the loop part of the hook and loop. You can see that we have this bridge right here, which goes all the way from the back to the uh, top middle of the helmet. We have more material over the ears, and then a pretty generous amount of material on the back. So whatever you want to attach to this helmet should be just fine. Now, if we take a look at the rail system on the side here, you can see that it is all set up for M-Lock, which is great because if you have anything that will direct connect to M-Lock, it will direct connect to this helmet. But if you have something that will attach to a pick rail, all you have to do is get a Picatinny rail adapter that will fit in M-Lock. Go ahead and tighten that down, and now you can go ahead and put on, you know, any comms adapters, any uh, hearing protection adapters, any flashlights, or anything that attaches either direct connect to the M-Lock or to the pick rail. So again, just gives you a little bit more versatility, and it's, you know, I think that M-Lock is kind of the way of the future. I think that's the way that most people are going to go kind of from here on out because, again, it's very, very versatile. So you get that, which is a really nice option and you know it has some pretty nice venting holes as well this one is in green they have green black FTE a bunch of different colors you can head over to their website they even have uh, like a search and rescue type helmet which is orange so if you're a climber if you are in search and rescue or medical and you want that high visibility type helmet they have one in orange as well with the same venting holes so we have uh, venting holes here it's gonna relieve a lot of that heat because these things do get hot and then we have even larger venting holes towards the front so it's gonna allow a lot of that trapped heat to escape out of the top and then obviously it sits a little bit away from your head and so it's gonna allow some of that heat to escape this way too but having so many venting holes on the top while still maintaining that strength is just gonna mean a, a more comfortable fit and it's gonna be nicer to wear for extended periods of time now this helmet does have an adaptive three hole mount which is made out of aluminum it's a very strong mount it's a very lightweight mount and it will accept most standard mounts for your NVG, uh, things like Wilcox and so forth. As a matter of fact, they have a complete list of compatible mounts uh, for this. So if you want to, you can hook up a light, you can hook up some night vision or uh, maybe switch it up and 
put uh, a GoPro on the front and you should be able to find GoPro mounts that will fit in this as well. So if you want to film what you're doing, you can always put a GoPro on the front or if you got a little bit more money to spend, you can uh, go ahead and put your night vision up front. Or if you're somebody who's in law enforcement and something like this is going to be issued to you or they allow you to buy your own gear, then you're going to be able to run whatever NVG you want pretty much on these. So again, it kind of just adds to the versatility. So now let's go ahead and flip this thing over and talk about one of the more important parts here, which is going to be the padding. Now people might say, padding is not the most important part. It's going to be the shell that's the most important. And I get that. You want your head to be protected for sure. But if it's not comfortable to wear, there's a pretty good chance, unless you are forced to wear it, you're probably not going to wear it. Now, this has a very interesting buckle. Uh, so you can see the buckle right here, the, the chin strap. The way that this works, and this thing is, is super strong. It's not going anywhere. But the way that this works, if you want to take it off, all you have to do is simply pull on that little tab and it just comes right off. I thought this thing was gonna suck. I thought it was gonna come off all the time and just fall off, but it doesn't. It, it's magnetic, it locks in the back right here, and nothing that you can do in any direction is gonna get this thing to come off. Uh, it just stays on. It's weird how this thing works, but it just works really well. And then again, if you wanna remove it, all you have to do is simply pull on that tab, the damn thing comes right off. I mean, it is a pretty cool system for the uh, chin strap right there. Pretty comfortable, a lot of adjustment pretty much everywhere so that you can get this to fit, uh, you know, just the way that you like it. And obviously they have different sizes. So you can go with your small, your medium, your large. You wanna make sure that you do a proper measurement of your head and they give you a way to measure your head prior to your purchase so that you know that you're doing it the right way. Now, as far as the padding system goes, it's nice because it actually comes uh, excuse me, it comes with two different types of pads. We have a, a thinner pad and we also have a thicker pad. So you can see we have the thin pad that's in there right now. Uh, I have a thicker pad right here and the thicker pads are pretty nice, but for me, it just kind of brings the size down a little bit too small and it doesn't fit right. So I chose to go with the thinner pads. But you can see it's got this very soft material right here, which works with uh, these little Velcro dots. So you place the Velcro dots all around the helmet in the uh, order that they tell you to put it in. And then you go ahead and you you take your insert, so your uh, you know your cushion layer insert, and you go ahead and you put it right on top of a secondary. So basically, it becomes a secondary layer of comfort, and it's like a very soft memory foam. It's not you know just like standard padding like you might find in some other cheaper brands where you just get like a pad and it just feels like a, a pad, a foam pad. This actually feels like a very soft, almost like a gel memory foam, and these actually might be gel. I'm not sure, but it feels like a gel type memory foam. It feels really nice. Now, I don't have any discount codes to these helmets. I will put links over on my website if you guys want to check them out. My website will be linked right down in the description box right next to the Firearms Policy Coalition. Make sure that you become a member because they're fighting for our Second Amendment rights every day. So whether you want a good bump helmet or you want your, uh, to get yourself a good ballistic helmet, I think that Hardhead Veterans is going to be good for a lot of people because that's a high quality product at a much better price than a lot of other companies are charging. So I wanted to be able to show you guys what we have here. And again, these have seen uh, a lot of use over a long period of time. So again, I wanted to share that with you. So I want to thank you guys all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.